You are listening to the Your Empty Nest Coach Podcast. Uh, Christine? Yes, Christine? You know with the social distancing implemented due to COVID-19 that your listeners may not be in an empty nest right now. And they may be struggling with an unexpected full nest. I mean, listen to that racket in the kitchen. Ooh, you're right about that. You are listening to the Not So Empty Nest podcast with Coach Christine. Is that better? I think at least for the near future, it might be a good call. Sounds like a plan. Before we get started, please remember that you may leave me audio feedback at any time through my SpeakPipe link or Google Voice number. If you find yourself talking back to me during the episode, I invite you to submit your thoughts there. You'll find the links to do this in the description of this episode. On an Apple Podcast, click Details. On Spotify, click See More. On Overcast, press the I for Information button. Get the idea? Of course, I always have full show notes with links to anything I discuss in this episode and the full episode transcription on my website. Those reside at youremptinesscoach.com forward slash P for podcasts and 74 for this episode's number. I can't wait to hear from you. Hello, my amazing friend. If this is the first time you've listened to this podcast, welcome. This is a special series to support you during the COVID-19 restrictions that may be in place where you live. That empty nest isn't quite as empty for many of us. So do you want to catch all of them? This series begins in episode number 72. I want you to know that you aren't alone and that whatever you're experiencing, you, my friend, can handle it. This is an opportunity to watch your news intake too and to level up your protector. Today, I thought I would share what our family is experiencing right now, in case you're curious. We live and work in Pennsylvania in the United States. On Monday, our governor ordered non-essential businesses to shut down to help curb the spread of COVID-19. For our family, we are all home. My husband began working from home last week. My daughter's college strongly recommended all students leave campus by this past Monday. She and I returned home Sunday evening. Her school moves to online classes today. She began a routine that allows her some free time in the morning, a workout in the house that includes YouTube videos of Dance Dance Revolution. I've got to be honest with you, that sounds super fun, and I may just have to try that. And then she has a list of things that she wants to accomplish for the day. And I'm working at home as well. Most of you know my day job is on a college campus, so to see the amount of work the administration is doing to figure all of this out has been unbelievably encouraging. Our personal positives. We are all home together. We all have our own working space. If you take a listen to episode number 72 with Kelly Randall, I clearly understand that we are not all this lucky. Our daughter is college age, which means us working from home isn't the hardship that it is for those who have little ones in daycare that are home now. And right now we're all doing well mentally. For me, this is an adventure. Just like my episode titled, Why I Don't Have a Side Hustle, I've chosen that word adventure for this experience. I have no doubt we'll have days with moments that are incredibly heartwarming, mixed with some heartbreaks, but life is like that. It's a ginormous simmer, and it is as if the heat was just turned up probably more than a little bit for all of us. (laughs) As humans, I find it beneficial that we are all in this together. Most of us have had moments where we've lost someone or have received tough news in our life, and it might feel as if we're mourning and the world is just going on without us, unaware of the hurt and the pain that you have felt. Well, my friend, we're all in this one together. While we all have unique circumstances with this, there is a sense of community as we know that we're all just figuring this out as we go. Take this opportunity to call or video chat with someone who might need to hear your voice and someone who may need to unload their own concerns. By providing that gift to others, you may find a sense of peace in your own life. If you're on Instagram, I have a photo in my story that you may snapshot and fill out daily that asks the questions that I will be asking my guests, and I thought I would share my answers from yesterday. We'll call it social distancing check-in. Sure, that sounds good. (laughs) So the day of social distancing for me yesterday was day number two. Something that I loved was that I could have a conversation with my daughter midday and hug her. That's something I miss while she's in college. Something that I found surprising was how darn uncomfortable my desk chair is at home. It's a wooden dining room chair. I even had an online conversation with coworkers about the state of our chairs at home. (laughs) I guess this is fairly universal. I do have the ability to walk to my office and thought about popping into 
borrow the desk chair. So yes, I found that surprising. Something I found funny is the show Taskmaster. It always makes me laugh. And when my daughter's home, we will sit and watch it in the evening, watch an episode. And yesterday I laughed so hard I was crying. So great show. You will find it on YouTube if you're in the US. They are releasing an episode each week. So we're way behind what they get to see in Great Britain. (laughs) Something I could use help with, I wrote, see surprising. Yeah, that chair. (laughs) Got to figure that out. The final part of my daily check-in is a bar at the bottom that's meant to be a sliding scale, where on the left is the word protector and on the right is CEO of your life. The protector side would be where you feel your protector has complete control over your life. You're more than likely being run by your thoughts, emotions, and everything you're hearing and seeing. The CEO of your life side is if you're feeling peaceful, have a handle on things, and are the conscious, effective Olympian of your life. Personally, I'm feeling pretty darn peaceful, and still am this morning. There are very few things I'm hearing or seeing that are inside my fence, to be honest. So when my mind begins to spin off on the news that I've heard, I have a fantastic opportunity to train up my protector. Actually, this entire experience is a huge opportunity to do so. I have mentioned that I'll be doing support calls daily. I plan to have those up and running by the end of the week. Be sure to reach out to me and let me know if you are interested to be included. Well, I'm going to wrap this up for today. I'll have another episode out for you tomorrow, my beautiful friend. For those of us who were struggling with the empty nest, we may now have everything we thought we wanted a month ago. Isn't that interesting? So enjoy this adventure, my friend. Take each moment as it presents itself and use this opportunity to train your protector. I am cheering you on. You are amazing. Thanks. Thank you. A huge shout out to every member of my GPS support flock. I invite you to fly on over to my website or see my show notes for a link to learn how you may become a GPS support flock member, where you will gain access to all of my programs, monthly workshops, group coaching, and more. See you there.